you know, I'm staying healthy and things like that. And, you know, like I said, it's going to be a long season. So just being able to keep my body in shape and just being ex extremely blessed and thankful for being able to get to where I'm at right now. 45, 19, I'm just living the moment right now. Given his age, he deserves to simply live in the moment. Oh, wait, you probably don't know his age. As you see, so as a 16-year-old, I'm extremely happy and just want to keep uh, working on my craft and keep improving different things I need to improve on to be able to be at the next level. You heard that right. He is only 16 and determined to climb up the ladder of success. Honestly, he has a lot of potential, especially since... Birth certificate or something, because you're running times <laughs> that we've never seen before. Imagine, he's already running remarkable times at his young age. He will, undeniably, reach greater heights as he continues to improve with age and experience. So who is he? Quincy Wilson is a 16-year-old American track and field athlete who is proving to be a promising athlete at this early stage of his career. Gaithersburg, Maryland is home to the young phenom, who is also a sophomore at Bullis School, one of the fastest high schools in America for track and field. Some may say that his brilliance in the sport is not surprising at all, since he was born into a family where sporting excellence runs deep. His mother had a very successful career in soccer and basketball, while his father carved his own path on the football field. In addition to his parents, his older sister, Cadence, is also a force to be reckoned with on the track. She clinched the title of Virginia State Champion in the sprints, and now represents James Madison University. Simply put, he grew up in an athletic family and is shaping up to be as great as everyone else. Witnessing the illustrious achievements of his family, Quincy is set to forge a successful path for himself. His parents, Monique and Roy Wilson, recognized his exceptional talent early on. In fact, he started his training at eight and became an Olympian at the 2017 AAU Junior Olympics when he was merely a nine-year-old child. Competing in the 400-meter finals, Wilson clocked a time of one minute and 2.66 seconds to take up the top position. After witnessing their child taking a liking to running, Monique and Roy immediately decided to bank on it. Both Quincy's father and mother started searching for a high school that would have a set of credible coaching teams to help their son on their journey. Unfortunately, his parents could not find a school matching their requirements in Chesapeake, Virginia. When they eventually found a school that would be perfect for the budding Quincy Wilson, it was miles from their current residence. Still, without hesitation, Quincy's parents decided to relocate to Maryland to provide the best guidance for their son. The decision to relocate proved to be a life-changing one for the young athlete. Under the guidance of a great coaching team, he developed into a fully matured athlete. Not quite 15 yet, Quincy won a fifth national AAU Junior Olympic Games title, successfully defending his crown in the 400 meter. He did so with a 47.59 in the semifinals, which broke Obeah Moore's 30-year-old under-14 national record in the US. He then went on to the finals and won in 47.77 seconds. The following year, he won the 400-meter New Balance Nationals indoor title in 46.67 seconds. That's not all. Another notable achievement from the high schooler that year is that he split 45.06 seconds in the 4x 400-meter relay at the Penn Relays. But wait, there's more. Only 15 years old at the time, he signed a NIL deal with New Balance. And, as he is still pretty young, he's far from done making himself known to the world. In fact, he's just beginning to. And so, Wilson continues his success in the 2024 season, with several national records and high school all-time marks. In January, he set a new indoor 500-meter world record for 18 and under, clocking a minute and 1.27 seconds at the VA Showcase, at the New Balance Nationals in Boston in March. The Maryland High School sophomore ran the 400 meters in 45.76 seconds, which broke the indoor world record for the 400 meters in the under 18 age group. At this point in the race, it's just all strength, it's all will. I hear the Maryland track club cheering for him. There goes the fireworks. Keep your eyes on the time. What is it gonna be? 4571, unofficial. As you heard, it was the unofficial time. Still, his time of 45.76 seconds is... It's a new national record. 
national record. And that is the new national record. Well, the national record was held by LZ Coleman of the Free Academy in New York in 2001, 4592. The world record is 43.03 seconds, set by South African Wade Van Niekerk at the 2016 Olympics. Michael Johnson holds the American record with 43.18. Anyway, as if setting a new national record is not enough. Quincy Wilson had the meet record. He surpasses his own meet record and national lead. Wow. And he goes 45.76. What's more, his historic time puts him among the greatest sprinting prospects ever. In the 400 meters, Wilson is much faster than the legendary Usain Bolt was at his age. Fun fact, indoor times are slower than outdoor times due to the shorter track and the awkward bends. Wilson said in a post-race interview that his 45.76 indoor time converts to a 44 high outdoor. By late March, Wilson's 45.19 in the 400 meter at the Florida Relays was the fastest time in the U.S. at any level of the year, and the sixth fastest time in the world for 2024. That 45.19 was especially important for Wilson, as it automatically qualified him for the U.S. Olympic team trials, set for late June in Eugene, Oregon. When asked by Jamaican sprinter Fitzroy Dunkley about how he felt about his run, he said, Feel great. Feel executed the race. Um, executed the race pretty well. There's a lot of things that I have to work on, but coming off of one week of training since indoor, I'm feeling pretty good. In another interview, he expressed his joy about his progress. Thankful for being able to get to where I'm at right now. 45, 19. I'm just living the moment right now and enjoy what I just accomplished because that's that's not a common time that you see. So as a 16 year old, I'm extremely happy and just want to keep uh, working on my craft and keep improving different things I need to improve on to be able to be at the next level. Then, in early April, in his first ever outdoor 800 meter, Wilson doubled his signature distance and ran 1 minute and 50.44 seconds at the Beach Run Invitational in Myrtle Beach. The following month, William Morris Endeavor, an entertainment, sports, and fashion agency that currently lists Olympic champion Sidney McLaughlin as a client, signed with the Bullies sophomore. In an Instagram post, the agency wrote, WME Sports is proud to announce we have signed track and field runner Quincy Wilson. Welcome to the family, Quincy. Wilson is considered one of track and field's brightest young stars. He's coming off a performance at the Penn Relays, where he clocked the fastest 400-meter relay split of all time for a high school, producing a time of 44.37. He was named Mile Split Athlete of the Year after the indoor season. A few days after signing with WME, he ran a new personal best at the 2024 East Coast International Showcase. In just his second 400 meter of the season, he clocked a time of 45.17 seconds at the Prince George's Sports and Learning Complex track in Landover, Maryland. He shed off 0.02 seconds from his 400 meter run in March. Only Daryl Robinson with 44.69, Justin Robinson with 44.84, Jamal Walton with 44.99, Jerome Young with 45.01, Henry Thomas with 45.09, Jonathan Sims with 45.12, and O.B. Moore with 45.14 have run faster in U.S. high school boys history. That said, Quincy Wilson is now tied for number eight on the all-time list with William Reed. Overall, Quincy Wilson is a name that needs no introduction when it comes to the younger generation of track and field athletes. He even earned appreciation from the reigning 100-meter world champion Noah Lyles. Replying to a tweet about Wilson tying for ninth fastest in high school history with his 45.19 400-meter outdoor opener, Lyles wrote, I'm not putting any limits on Quincy Wilson. Even former sprinter and Olympic veteran Justin Gatlin was also awed by Quincy's performance in recent days. I'm just going to say he would beat me in any era of my career in a 400 equal, he said. With the Olympics being the ultimate prize for Quincy, he revealed his plans to take on the team trials in June. Now it waits to be seen if the teenager can hold on to his form in the coming months as well. His plans. And just, just keep working hard towards that goal and just being able to just run. Watch this to see who else is vying for a spot in the Paris Olympics.